free a wrongfully convicted man 48 hours away from being executed has got to be the great dream of any reporter anywhere. There was one problem, though. It was one big lie. A bunch of kids who had taken a course on journalism dug up the information that was there available to the police. We went and we reenacted the crime, and we found out that the eyewitness couldn't have seen it at all. They were heroes. The case was a pivotal moment in the abolition of the death penalty in Illinois. I'm commuting the sentence of all death row inmates. I said, there's something going on, but what's going on is not what you see on TV. The journalism professor intentionally leaves out the most important fact of all. They seized on the name of a guy with no evidence and concluded he was the real killer. He tells me that a man is getting ready to die for something I did. She told us that she had been there when her husband committed the crime. I heard two gunshots. Totally inconsistent. The victims were shot five times. How many shots did you hear? Really three, maybe four, I don't know. This case had a motive behind it bigger than the crime. I was in the wrong place at the wrong time. These guys are saying they'll help me get out of prison. They'll say whatever they want me to say. We got the right guy. Anthony Porter killed those two people. It's an utter outrage. It's justice upside down. What would make this right is my freedom.